Mark. Hi, Pete. Um, Chris Knobloch's uh, promising some changes in the lineup. I won't say what they are. We see this a lot in the playoffs where coaches are coy about that. Does it, in general, not, not specifically today, but in general, does that affect your preparation in any way when you don't know exactly who's coming in on the other side, short of a goalie change? Uh, not, not really. No. No, I, I wouldn't. Uh, I don't think it does. Uh, you know, at the same time, um, you know, uh, listen, it's an, it's an age-old practice, right? Um, you know, just... Uh, I guess the only thing is, you know, every coach is anal about preparation and, you know, you'd love to have exact lineups on the board when the players arrive at the rink and everyone knowing, you're, you know, not wiping names off the board and warm up, things like that. So, you know, but from a practical preparation point of view, it doesn't, doesn't make a difference. Front left, Mark. You've coached right. a million big games before. Have you ever gone into one and made three healthy scratches in the same game? <laughs> uh, that's a good question. I, I don't. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to look back at the the uh, the list, Mark. I, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Center right, Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Pete. The Oiler power play through the year when they go through little dry spells, they tend to you know there's adjustments. They're pretty good at making little tweaks. Is there any way for you guys? to prepare for the idea that there'll, there'll probably be some adjustments yeah. and tweaks, and how do you prep for that? Yeah, I think, um, you know, as you develop a book on the other team, I think, I think you try and anticipate what the tweaks might be based on uh, their, the history and the, the tape um, over the entire year, right? You can see, you know, maybe what, what they've done when they've tweaked in the past, things like that. but. You know, at the end of the day, you're you're guessing. I think you want to stick to your foundation and and the things, the two or three things that they do really well. And um, you know, and then you know if they if they throw some tweaks in there, then you adjust on the fly. But you know, there there is some uh, work at, at trying to anticipate what they might look to do next. Front left, Mike. Hey, Pete. Hey, Mike. Any lineup changes you'd like to share? Uh, <laughs> Fax in Smith out. And then any changes in the first periods of the last two games that you've looked at, seen on film, that, you know, anything in particular you would like to do differently? Um, yeah, start, start on time, you know. I think that's probably the, the obvious one. Start on time. Second row left, Eric. Hey, Pete. Um, I just want to ask you about the impact of Rupe Hintz, getting him back in the lineup. Obviously, obviously he's a great player, but it seemed to affect everyone else around him. I guess how big is, is having him and healthy Rupe in, in the lineup for you guys? Yeah, I, it's not surprising. And, and, you know, I think probably the more surprising thing is, is how well we played against the teams we played and the record we had when he was out of the lineup. You know, if you, you take anyone's number one center out of their lineup this time of year, uh, when you're down to the final eight, final four teams, um, you know, it, it affects all kinds of parts of your game. So, you know, I, I loved how we weathered that storm, um, you know, while he was out of the lineup. And obviously, you know, him coming back in changes things for us. Second row right, Andrew. I'd be uh, back to flip-flops a, a few times over this series, the yeah. last series. Just wondering your thoughts on what brings him back in today and how yeah. hard it might be for him to go back and forth. Yeah. Well, I, you know, it, it probably goes a little bit back to Mark's question, but, you know, when you have depth and you get to this point of the year, you know, Edmonton's coming off a seven-game series and we're now into game four of, of this one, you know, playing every other day. We're coming off two really tough series. You know, I think that's the reason you have depth is to, to put in fresh legs uh, at different points, depending. So, um, you know, for us, I'm sure people are going, you've won two games in a row, why are you changing your lineup? You know, so, sometimes it's just the practicality of, of fresh legs and, and using your depth and keeping everybody involved. Fourth row on the left, Mike. Pete, obviously you're concentrating on this series. We all know you go back with Paul Maurice a long time. Is there anything in his press conferences that he says that surprises you anymore? <laughs> no, no, not really. I mean, 
he's, uh, well, you know, I, I think he's the best in the business uh, at that and, and has been for a long time. I think he's, he's grown more comfortable, um, uh, you know, in the later stages of his, of his coaching career in, in that environment. And he's enjoying the ride. You know, I, I remember sitting and having a beer with him probably early, early when he took the Florida job, you know, and, and he said he was going to make a conscious effort to try and enjoy it because it, it, it's not an easy job to enjoy when you're in, in the fight. And you can tell he's enjoying it.